protests. Where do you think social justice, warriorism, and identity politics stands after last night? It's done. It's over. I mean, they can keep saying this, and in a way, it's cute. It's like uh, every year with my kids, I have a thing called Kids Day, where I let them do whatever they want, and they eat candy for dinner, and they watch TV all night, and it's it's a it's a it's a nightmare. <laughs> and they end up hating life the next day because they're so exhausted. <laughs> and right now, when they keep saying all this stuff, I actually find it endearing. Like, you know what was so great about the right? We're great winners. So someone returned the sword to the patriarchy, and I'm grabbing it. And you know what I'm doing with this sword? I'm sheathing it. <laughs> I'm putting it in my hip. People go, you can make fun of all these guys. And I go, no, thank you. I think they're absolutely adorable. Oh, uh, look go at that. ahead and make it about identity politics. We're now back in the pilot's chair. We're now driving again, finally, after a quarter century of giving you guys the talking stick. And you blew it. You broke the talking stick. So it's ours now. And by all means, continue to whine and whinge and be a ridiculous infant. It's now become cute.